happy Thursday. Welcome back to Devotions with Emma and Sammy. We are so excited that you're here. Um, today we are going to be talking about Jesus's last words, which sounds a little morbid, but when you hear what he had to say to us, it's actually um, so, so cool. So in this point where we're entering the story, Jesus has died, he has risen, and he's on earth still. He showed himself to hundreds of people, proving that he really was God, but it was not in God's plan for Jesus to stay forever. Um, so we're going to learn a little bit more about what that plan looked like, what Jesus actually said, and then what it means for us. But first, we're going to go over to Emma for our theme and main ideas and verses. Thanks, Yumi. Okay, so our theme is God's promises. And our main idea is Jesus's last words. And our verse is from Acts chapter one, verses seven through 10. He replied, the father alone has the authority to set those dates and times and they are not for you to know, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you and you will be my witnesses telling people about me everywhere in Jerusalem, throughout Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth. After saying this, he was taken up into a cloud while they were watching, and they could no longer see him. As they strained to see him rising into heaven, two white-robed men suddenly stood among them. That is our verse for today. Yes, thank you, Emma. Um, so what Emma just read lays it out what Jesus said to us. But first, we're going to just kind of walk through the verse and see um, what is in there. So the first um, part of the verse says the father alone has the authority to set those dates and times they're not for you to know. So as we're talking about God's plan, um, we are focusing on the fact that God has a plan that's in place still today. God's plan was for Jesus to come, for him to die, to be resurrected, to go back to heaven. And then the Bible says that Jesus will come back, but we don't know when that is. And this verse says, it's not for you to know. God knows it's not for you to know right now, but he lays out what we will have, and that's the Holy Spirit, which is just so, so cool in and of itself. But then he says what you're supposed to do while you're in this time where Jesus has come, he's left, but he's not yet back. He says you're supposed to be my witnesses, tell people about me everywhere to the ends of the earth. Um, so it's so cool that God lays it out for us, um, and then he gives us all the power that we need to do that through the Holy Spirit. So going to our question for today, I want you to think about all the people in your life think about all those people you know. And then I want you to ask yourself, who is someone I know that needs to know Jesus? So pause the video, ask yourself that question right now. Welcome back. Thanks for taking the time to think about that question with us. Um, going straight to our prayer, it takes a lot of courage and bravery to talk to someone about Jesus. So, um, I always, <laughs> it takes a lot of courage and bravery to tell someone about Jesus. So I want you to take some time and talk to God and just ask him to make you super, super brave and then ask him to just tell you how to love that person. Pray for that person um, that you're thinking of who's that, who you think, I think they need Jesus. So take some time, talk to God, ask him to make you brave and pray for that person who needs Jesus. All right, welcome back. Thanks for taking the time to learn a little bit more about what Jesus has to say to us. All of us saying bye to you. Um, we're gonna go over to Emma for our invitation. That's a perfect segue, Sia, me and all. Um, okay, so today is National Adopt a Shelter Pet Day. And our very own Debbie is actually fostering a dog named Sophie right now. So that's awesome, Debbie. Um, so today I have a really sweet video to share with you guys. It's about a dog named Pirate who has been over seven years of its life in a shelter. Um, but the video is good because it's about him finally getting adopted, which is awesome. Um, so if you guys like dogs, I would like to invite you guys to check that out. And if you're not a big fan of dogs, that's okay. You can skip this one. Um, it's a great video though. I think it'll make you really happy. Thank you for watching. We'll see you tomorrow, guys. Bye. Bye. <laughs>